Yes, I should have said. How have you been all these years, Sally? You ran off into the night with nothing, and now you're some sort of brilliant chemist. How did you survive? I wish I could have helped you. It'd be nice to be friends again, instead of all those dreadful things. I really have to extract three bits. Wouldn't two do? Oh dear. Oh, come on, you pack rat. You can't take all this with you. Arthur, where are you? You are too old to go to Germany, are you not? Oh, no. I'm not going to put one more child on that train. I don't think I like this device at all.
So that's where I parked it. <laughs> oh dear. You're not bloody mule. Going to hurt us. No one's going to hurt you, Percy. I, I promise. But we're brothers. I'll look out for. We'll look out for each other. <laughs> Bloody hell! I don't think I had a terribly keen oh. grasp on how many unpleasant things I've forgotten. about to go. I wish I kept in shape. Oof. Bloody hell. Oh, bloody hell. You can take your joy in this.
Did you get everything? Brilliant. You got a knack for these things. So rare these days. Everyone expects everything to just work on magic. That's perfect. I just need to make the final adjustments. Tell you what, come back tomorrow and I'll pop out of here through my wormhole and fix your precious bridge. You can take your joy immediately. that? I hope she's alright. Maybe I should go check. You can take your joy in Oh, for heaven's sake, she's gone! I can't believe she left without helping me. Well, I can. I just feel like a complete idiot trusting her. smoked in high school, I could carry a bit more. Nine times out of ten, if I turn it off and turn it back... On again, that does the trick. Oh, for heaven's sake. All this for that. Oh, for fuck's sake. For fucking fuck's sake. Now I can cross the bloody bridge to St. George and find Sally's house and go grovel. electrify the masks. Are we all supposed to carry power cells in our hats? Are they completely insane?
stupid bit of a mistake. Height. The rabbit got into the garden. The rabbit got into the garden. Sounds like some sort of secret message. We're life for noise. Pop a joy. Hello. Let's have a look at you, shall we? You're in tip-top shape, aren't you? You were so pleased you survived the garden disturbance. Doodaloo. Maybe I shouldn't cross at night. The bobbies will be patrolling and they're terribly cross about curfew. I can't believe I went through all of that just to cross a bridge and go see Sally. Well, Arthur, maybe you shouldn't have been such an ass. Maybe you should have said, Oh, yes, Sally, do talk to your friend the General for me. What a kind thing to offer. Why does God punish me for all my mistakes and let everyone else run free? Name of the law. 
Feels entirely too good. Happiness is a choice! to sleep. Snug as a bug on a drug.
Oh. Uh. Ah. Aha. Ha. Oh. Um. Ah. Happiness is a choice. Lovely day for it. Right as rain, right as rain. Lovely day for it. All right. Lovely weather. Have you been? I got a new compliment machine. It's so clever. I hope I can convince the nice bobbies to let me fix their bridge. Oh, 
I'm sorry, sir. The bridge is not currently functioning properly. Best come back in a few days. I'll need to be dressed like a worker in there. If I'm not wearing a boiler suit, people are liable. Right, Toe. Here. I want you to have this. Off about this later. Getting old. doesn't kill you. <laughs> Couldn't be better, thanks. Lovely day for it. Maybe I should sit down for a bit. Every now and then, you hear someone talk about downers. What's a downer? Well, a downer is someone...
save a bit for the next minute. Lovely day you for it. About Constable Rossetti's wife's cake. <laughs> Yesterday is no place to live. Convince the nice bobbies to let me fix their bridge. Lovely day for it. Right as rain, sir. Right as rain. I'm sorry, sir. The bridge is not currently functioning properly. Well, that went surprisingly well. says, step on one lit platform. Say Simon says. Now, Simon says, step on three lit platforms. Fantastic! You did it! Here's some joy. You can never have too much joy, can you? Happiness is a choice. Now, for the last challenge, Simon says, step on all the lit platforms. <laughs> Fabulous! Simon says, step forward through the gate and be sure to enjoy your day. I'm at the bridge to the parade. There's just one more bridge, and then I'm in the parade. And one more bridge after that, and I'm finally out of Wellington Wells.
Should clear up soon, I imagine. Lovely day for it. I did think I used to run a hundred meters. All right, lovely day for it. Lovely day for it. Happy as Larry. You. Ah. <laughs> Try not to fuck this up. You need a letter of transit. And an old friend. Oh, Sally. Sally? Sal? Sally who? Arthur! Oh. Come to have a go at me again. I used to think about what I'd say if I ever ran into you again. But, um, being a complete arse was sort of improvising there. Look, this is not a spectacular time. You said you know General Bing. Yeah, he's a client. A pharmaceutical client. I haven't had sex with anyone in ten years, and if I did, it wouldn't be with that man. Good. Did you really come here for a letter of transit? Or did you just need an um, excuse? Well, I, uh, sort of do need the letter of transit. Oh, Arthur. If you're really going to do something spectacularly stupid, these might come in handy. Uh, thanks. They make your pupils look teeny tiny, just like Joy does, but they have utterly no effect. About the letter? Could you do something for me? Uh, of course. What? I need a bottle of cod liver oil. I'd really like one. 
cod liver oil? Why on earth would you want cod liver oil? Like your mum used to torment you with. I wish I could remember her. You know how joy fucks up your memories. Why? Why would you want to remember your mum? If it's too much to ask. Well, I was kind of hoping for absolutely I will ask my friend the General for a rotten scrap of paper just for old time's sake. Oh, I'm being an arse again, aren't I? I'll get it for you. The letter. I'm not crazy, but I am always a little extra complicated. complicated. You used to understand. I'll, I'll get it for you. I mean, I'll try. You were always the best of the lot. I've missed you so. I really should go. You, you don't have to. I really really have to. Arthur, thanks. I'll just go. Oh, I meant to say, cod liver oil. Dr. Verloc has some at the labs on us class. He keeps a whole private stash of rare ingredients. I'm sort of persona non grata there. I see I'm the competition. Look, be careful. Lovely day for it. All right. Couldn't be better, thanks. You flirt. Lovely weather. Righto. <laughs> Pace yourself, Arthur. I've been in Hayworth Labs since Harry Hayworth gave that big tour a few years ago. Sorry, sir. There has been a slight <laughs> hiccup in the disposition of the lab, and it is currently in isolation. No one in, no one out. Please come back later. Uh, but, but uh, uh, I'm a reporter. I'm supposed to interview Dr. Verloc. Oh, I hope he hasn't forgotten. Oh, a journalist, eh? <laughs> Have you got your press pass? I uh, left it at the office. Well then, you'd best go back and get it, haven't you? So a press pass gets me in. Amazing what people will do to get in the newspaper. Maybe I can go talk to Mrs. Oliphant at the Au Courant. See if she's got a spare press pass.
Pace yourself, Arthur. That smells awful. And fatal. I think you should excuse yourself. <laughs> I'm making a fart joke to a pipe. I'm losing my mind. In just a few weeks, all this gas should just kind of waft out of here. Do you like clean air, sir? Oh, yes, I'm a big fan. <laughs> Come on, people, have a sense of humour. <laughs> 